Matt Maloney, your company, Grubhub, will soon be celebrating its one-year anniversary of its IPO listing. You priced at 26, the stock popped, now it's around 40. It's been a fairly stable ride, however, since going public. How have you kept it so stable? It's really focusing on the product and service that we bring to our diners and restaurants. If you look at the industry, it's a $70 billion industry of, in terms of how much Americans are spending on pickup and delivery every year. And last year, Grubhub processed $2 billion. So there's tremendous opportunity in front of us, and it's really just heads down, executing, signing up more restaurants, telling diners, hey, we have your favorite restaurants in your neighborhoods right now on your smartphone. Download the app. Well, revenue in your fourth quarter doubled, so I think 73 million. Did the weather help? Because it's awfully cold out. I know a lot of people don't want to go outside to the restaurant when they can just order in. Absolutely. As we say, cold is gold. Um, whenever it's really cold or whenever it rains or snows, uh, although too much of a good thing uh, is, is not so good, but absolutely. If you look at our seasonality, we peak in Q4, Q1, and then much more steady growth in Q2 and Q3. All right, so you have 5 million active diners according to your latest results. How do you build on that? How do you get more? Think about the, the number of Americans in, in the country. They're spending $70 billion every year on feeding their families. And, and I personally, I think that $70 billion is artificially constrained. I think that if the transactional fees were less, if the minimums were less, and diners could order from their favorite restaurants, even the ones that don't order delivery, then that 70 could balloon into 140 plus. And so really it's just communicating to diners, letting them know your favorite restaurants are on our app in, that it could be on your smartphone right now. And what keeps restaurants from signing up? Uh, it seems like it's just an easy choice for them. You know, why not be on your service? Right. Uh, I, I tell you the truth, the, the sell itself to restaurants is pretty easy. It's a lot harder to get in front of restaurants because they are busy. These are local entrepreneurs. They are working their business, trying to grow. And we come to them and say, extraordinarily low risk, extraordinarily high return. I only make a dime when you make a dollar. Let's align our incentives, get you online, get you on your, on your customer's smartphones and go. Another way to get restaurants is for you to buy some of your competitors. You bought Dining In, which I think is in Boston, Restaurants on the Run, which I think is in California. I think you spent $80 million. So are you trying to get these restaurants on your platform before, I don't know, Google or Amazon or someone else gets them? Big market share grab right now? Um, sort of. It's also an evolution. So what Grubhub's bread and butter is, is restaurants that deliver for themselves. What Dining In and Restaurants on the Run do is they deliver on behalf of the diners. So by acquiring these two companies, Grubhub is now the number one restaurant delivery company in the country, bar none. And the reason we did that was, yes, to add more content to better provide our diners the new restaurants that don't do delivery and also to ensure the quality of service of that last mile is as high and as consistently high as possible. And then finally, what comes after restaurants? You're going to do liquor stores next, groceries. These things have been tried before with varying results. Sure. $70 billion, pickup and delivery, annual. I think that's artificially constrained. I'm going to continue to put this company heads down on this sector, continue with restaurant delivery, making sure our diners get the food they want when they want it, and migrate from once a week to three times a week. That's, that's what the future of Grow Hub is going to be. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching the street.